Hey everybody and welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me today. In this video, we're going to look at how to manually install your products from the Dash Studio store or any other vendors. Before I get started, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribes and hits the notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, a massive thank you to my patrons and members. The, your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. Assuming that you are keeping on top of things, you've probably already got a reasonable number of products in your library just from the freebies that you can get uh, every week from the Dash Studio Marketplace, as well as having uh, quite a sort of a wide selection of ones that you may or may not have bought. And when you come into your product library, you'll be able to click on the individual products and you'll be provided with download links to them. And most of them will have two options. They'll have the manual option and the install manager ready option. Now, after using Dash Studio for quite a long time, I have come to learn that the install manager ready versions, when you try and use those, probably 50% of the time, the install manager doesn't actually work and you end up having to manually install anyway. So what I would advise you to do is to just do the manual download straight away by clicking on the download link. And almost immediately, because this one's only a small pose file, you will get that download straight to your download folder. And then you can open it up like that. Now, what we do from this point, you need to know where your Dash Studio content library is stored on your computer. Now, by default, I believe it stores it inside your documents folder uh, into Daz 3 d Studio, my library. And then once you're in my library, you'll be able to see all of your content folders the same as you would see them when you're actually in Daz Studio. Now, in order to manually install, what you need to do is inside your zip file, open up the content folder and in there will be the folders of your content and you just simply have to select those and drag them straight into the folder making sure that you're putting them in the main folder and not inside one of the subfolders because that could get quite messy so just drag it in there and then if you haven't already got those files installed they will appear inside now once you're inside das studio you need to be able to tell das studio that you've installed something new unfortunately there's no really particularly easy way to do this so what we do is on our either our smart content or our content library tabs we're going to right click and we're going to go to content db maintenance like so and in the window that appears there's several options. What you want to do is the process the metadata queue and re-import metadata. When you hit accept, it's going to come up with another dialog. All you have to do is just hit accept there. And then Dash Studio will have a bit of a think. If you've got a lot of content, this is going to take quite a while. So go and make yourself a cup of tea or whatever you want to do. And then when you come back, it should be done. You don't get any kind of notification that this is done other than the fact that Daz Studio will be usable again. You can't do anything in Daz while it's doing this process. And that's all there is to it. Once you've done this, you'll be able to find your content in your smart content, assuming that the metadata is done. And that's really all you need to do. I hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.